Hello, hello, family. It is me, Lisa Trimson Inch Brown. And we're going to do the October 2017 energy report. Let's see. Um, it's going to be interesting because the next three, four months are, are pivotal for the next phases that everybody is moving into. Um, when I was looking at what was important to focus on for everybody, if you will, um, it, it's, it's hard, if you will, to bring into awareness for each different dimension and process and phase and all those things. So when we talk, uh, we're basically sharing the information on as many as we can encompass. Um, it's never going to be everything, and it's only going to be a portion of the picture. We do our best to include as much as we can. Um, the rest is up to you guys to figure it out, to, to see what resonates, what doesn't, what applies to you, what doesn't, all of these things. Okay, so um, for the phases that we are in now, um, each person being in a different phase of their journey and, and different processes, um, October, November, December, January. These are huge because we have entered the December gateway through um, vibrationally, if you will. Um, right, right now, we're kind of in a reprieve process where we finally completed the entire um, convergence, harmonic convergence, um, reharmonizing, if you will. Uh, uh, of the planet to a much higher vibrational frequency than before. It took us a month of holding the higher timelines in place in order to, to break uh, all of the old programs that presented um, and to anchor into the grid work of the Earth and our physical bodies, the new encodements um, for higher consciousness, higher dimensional existence here. Um, there are always new codes being anchored in. Um, the more intentionally we do this, then the easier it is. So the more we focus on intentional integration, the more we focus on intentionally um, staying conscious, um, the more we focus on intentionally opening our heart, the, moment, mo the, the more we focus on, on maintaining, and this is, this is a hard thing in the beginning, maintaining our highest dimensional aspect of ourselves, all of them, not just one, all of them, for the embodiment process here, um, for being multidimensional, not just talking about being multidimensional, but really being multidimensional in, in recognizing multidimensionality and how it correlates to your physical world here. This is a vast process. It's huge. And, and, and it's always bigger than any one of us can see. Um, we gain access to things. We gain access to the information. We gain access to gifts. We gain access to powers, if you will. And technically, there, there are abilities. We gain access to all of these things as we purify inside within ourselves. As we move into, um, and, and everybody is in this in some way, shape, or form. Some physical realities are going through this. Um, the, the more unconscious we were, the more it's a very physical experience here. Um, the more conscious and then quantum and super conscious and multidimensional we are, if you will, then the more it's an energetic experience with the physical realigning um, to that. And so we align our own realities based upon what unconsciousness and consciousness is, okay? Mm. October's energy report, specifically, um, it is the opening to all of the next following months. Um, one, when I looked at it, it's basically many are being faced with choosing which earth they reside on, old earth or new earth, conscious, fully conscious earth, um, or unconscious earth. And, and so basically every moment it is dedicated to your, to your highest consciousness existence here, all of ours, um, moving further into unity consciousness, movie, moving further into crystalline, Christed consciousness, moving further into a higher state of consciousness as your new way of existing here. 
multidimensionality means you got to bring your body along. So your body is, is like the, in a way, it's the most important thing there is. In, in the beginning, we didn't understand any of this, that our body had to wake up too. Well, as the body wakes up, it starts releasing a ridiculous rate of everything that was suppressed and held inside and packed and jammed all in it, all of our unconscious programs um, from all of our existences. It's not just this one here. So when you're clearing a, a program, when you're transcending the stuff from inside, when you are resolving all back into unity and love and consciousness and purity inside of you and releasing everything on a cellular level, um, you're bringing your body through. You're integrating the light of your soul. You're integrating your light as a star being here. You're integrating all of this encoded, these, these geometrics and that which changes your DNA for you. Now your DNA is encoded with this already. So these higher light frequencies that, that are activating 24 hours a day in multitudes, they are activating inside your physical body, the entire cosmos, universes, galaxies, everything. And, and so your body's going to go through a huge process. It's important that you support and love and respect your body. Support and love and respect you. Pay attention to what's going on inside of you. Pay attention because it's going to dictate the experience that you have here. Whether you're able to tune to a higher vibrational frequency and retune everything yourself, um, attuning your body to higher vibrational everything. Um, this is a tuning process that, that is continual and it won't look like anything that you thought. October is going to be focused on multidimensionality. It's going to be focused on um, October, November, December. And, and so I may or may not do a November or I might do a December one. I don't know that I'll be doing November just because November is packed for me schedule wise. And, and I won't be um, doing much visibly um, online, um, but I'll be doing tons physically <laughs> here. Um, which is an, an everyday thing. It's just that that's a, a packed month for me, guys. So I think that's why I'm doing a three-month report. And then I'll update in December if it feels appropriate, okay? It, this next three months specifically is focused on you choosing the earth you want to reside on, choosing the earth you want to support, choosing everything through your actions, through being the example, through applying everything, through, through your interconnectedness with all things here, okay? Choosing. Um, if you're not consciously choosing, then you're unconsciously choosing, which means you're going to have an experience or, or experience a reality that's going to be re in a response to your unconscious um, actions and energy and the vibrations that you hold still. So it's really important to, to make sure in every moment that you're conscious, be fully present within yourself and the, the entire exterior reality, the entire outside to show you what's still inside of you, what you hold, what you fear, what you believe, what you don't believe, all of these things are important. Um, and let go of the judgment, okay? That you cannot maintain fifth dimensional and higher. Fifth dimension is the beginning, okay? So you cannot maintain a new earth experience if you cannot maintain a certain vibration, your ascended aspects of yourself. If you cannot maintain full consciousness, if you cannot maintain these things, then, then when you're building a whole new foundation for realities, okay? And that is built upon energetics. That's built about, upon quantum, photonic, light, energy and the integration of this in, in your physical body, which needs a lot of sleep, a lot of rest, a lot of alone time in order for this to occur. It's you learning all over again from scratch, everything from the beginning, um, how to talk, how to walk, how, how, to, how to maintain, how, how to balance and do and work and play and do all of these things all over again as your highest aspects of yourselves. Um, fully in joy, fully in love, fully in all of these things. Um, maneuvering this takes all of your energy. So refocusing your energy on, on maintaining consciousness will be a full-time job in the beginning, okay? Um, you're gonna reverse everything, and then you're gonna reverse it again. 
And so if you're used to being really, really busy and filling your schedule full of stuff, then you're going to want to alleviate your schedule. You're going to want to simplify things. You're going to want to realize and start saying, I choose. Because everything is a choice. Okay? So it's up to you to decide. What are you choosing in this moment? And dedicate, commit yourself to that. Okay? Because it's going to show in your physical reality if you do. Um, all the tools are out there. All of the information is out there and, and flooding. It's up to you to discern and see which what applies for you. Um, but basically, um, November, December, October, November, December, dedicated to multidimensionality, multidimensional earth, multidimensional aspects of yourself, multidimensional everything. You're no longer on a single dimension earth. It's going to be based upon your actual experience. Your experience is going to show you. Your mindsets are going to show you. The energy you hold, your feelings are going to show you. This is what you pay attention to. Um, and, and start to realize that everything represents a dimension and a timeline. And, and for you to observe and, and choose and, and pick and realize and see these things, your, your higher consciousness awareness will constantly come for you. You will come into new awareness constantly. New awareness constantly. And, and you'll realize that the previous nanosecond isn't true anymore. And it's going to shift. So don't affix to anything at all. Okay? Um, if it's not in your actual physical here, if it's not something you're experiencing within you, if it's off in a virtual reality, a holographic reality out there and a part of the collective illusion, if you will, then, then you're going to be asked to choose which collective you want to belong to. New Earth is a collective too, but it's a very different than the old collectives, okay? It's a collective of unity. It's we consciousness. We. We together as one. We, you, unified with all of your higher self aspects. It becomes we. They, in the beginning, become we. You will become we through your entire existence here. You won't separate off anymore into an I unless you're talking about your own experience here. Okay, I talk about my experiences because that was my human experience. Those are my understandings. But when I speak about how universal everything is, how unity consciousness, I speak as we, I speak as all of my higher self aspects. I speak as the entire universe. I speak as a galactic and a guardian and all of things, these things here through my expanded state of consciousness in my physical body embodied, not as something that, I, that I'm asking about. I don't ask permission of anybody or anything anymore. I used to have to because you're basically your humans being trained. And so you will ask permission for a while until you've learned how everything goes. So I think this video might actually be a shorter one just because multidimensionality will be based upon how well you're able to maintain an expanded state and look at the outside world, look at the people in your life, look at the things, physical matter, everything re represents a, a state of consciousness, a level of consciousness, if you will. Um, don't get into comparison or anything like that, more than just being able to understand. And, and so basically the biggest important thing is for you to realize that, that every moment is multidimensional, every reality is multidimensional, you're on a multidimensional earth, you're not bound to a different, a single dimension anymore. Your physical body will bind you. Your consciousness will bind you. Your, your mentalities, your belief systems, your distortions, all of these things will bind you to a certain reality until you free yourself from those. Okay? So, focus on which earth you want to be on, which one you're going to contribute to. Because everything you do is a contribution. Uh, when you are coming from your highest aspect you, if you are coming from your lower aspect ego of yourself, your unconscious aspect of you, then you're going to be experiencing unconscious earth. Okay? And you can equate the different words. Old paradigm, new paradigm. Becomes old earth, new earth. Becomes unconscious earth, conscious earth. Conscious earth is breathing, connected, the universe, the cosmos, earth itself, breathing, Gaia is alive, your bodies are alive, you're alive, you're fully thriving, and you're also sleeping a whole lot to integrate a ridiculous amount of light. Okay, you're learning all new things constantly and you don't let your human ego get in the way anymore. Um, you process information through your body and your crystals and your crystalline structure. So it's a very different existence than it was before, but it means completely connecting 
and maintaining that connection. So for the next three months, this is going to be a determinant process. Um, the next three months are going to be very important for each person and the earth that you are functioning, supporting, um, working to, to exist on. Um, the one that you are dedicating yourself to, your, your dedicated, your focused energy basically vibrates you to that earth. And, and that's the one you get to experience here. So I hope this helps. I love you guys a ton. Have an amazing everything. And I'll do more videos as soon as I can. Mahalo.